Tonight, we will be expecting Delaney late uh, because she is still at rehearsal. Uh, Living her life. But she will be played by her fellow castmates. Everyone in Act Your Best, Delaney. Oh, I don't know. Local <laughs> redhead. Yeah, I was just going to say. <laughs> Local? <laughs> Something. Part time tardy. <laughs> Delaney, I'm not sorry. <laughs> that so was so good. <laughs> so. so. You know, uh, so guys, <laughs> Amber Wolves are doing really well, Marshall. So, last time we left off, you had all taken a job <laughs> from a, a uh, family yeah. in Plainsworth to rescue their son mm. from the Black Forest north of town. Upon entering the mystical, magical, dreadful darkness that is the twilight zone of that forest, after spending the next several hours there, you came across a strange, meandering man lost in the woods for about a month or so, with strange markings on his body. You almost killed him. You yeah. should have killed him. Should have killed all of them. Kill everyone. You learned our lesson. Never <laughs> <laughs> <That was laughs> say again. Yeah. Don't worry. We're killing everyone we meet. Now. I mean, if we make it out of here, we could be like. That was a very, but when when you were like, I think we should just kill all of these like wandering, <laughs> wandering human shells. I was like, oh my god, like I don't know, I don't know what my uh, what my inner vote is, and now they're chasing us, and I'm like, shit, <laughs> shit, <laughs> shit, <laughs> ah! Always listen to the dish. That was it. Was such a it was such a great um, it was such a great like Twilight Zone moment and I just love it because it was organic you know <laughs> you didn't know that Nick was going to be like kill all of them <laughs> <laughs> wood wandering zombie folk let's just I mean if he had been the commander still like yeah. he hadn't been taken I would have been like we have to he told us to <laughs> uh, after walking through that said forest of lumbering shelled human being you came across a rather humble shack in the middle of the wood against a large red oak tree there, after being captured by this said shadow witch, you all came guns a blazing, passed through the burned, and pretty much immediately murdered the shadow witch, supposedly. Stop. <laughs> there was a clock. You had a clock. <laughs> yeah. We filled in all the bubbles. That is correct. Uh, after which the burned took pursuit of you and pinching you between the hexed and the burned. That is where we will pick up. So you are about probably 10 seconds from crashing into the hex at this point, with the burns not more than maybe 30 feet behind you in the thick darkness of the woods. What are you going to do? Um, so we're, you said we're 30 seconds away from like head-on colliding. 10 seconds, seconds from 10 like seconds. bashing into the hex on the front, and then like the burned are basically on your heels. Gotcha. We're um, carrying the kid. We have two people carrying Special K, including her other character, Obsidian Rising, and me. Well, yeah, my my rookie's carrying. Your rookie's carrying. Gotcha, gotcha. So Special K is still paralyzed. Me. On a stretcher. Uh, on a stretcher. Uh, and one of the burned are uniquely shooting lightning at you. Ooh. Yeah. Um, 
think I'm going to, while running, just level my musket at like the point hexed mm -hmm. person. And sure. that's, I like to think as we're running, SPG is like, we need a pet, and points forward, knowing you guys shoot, I'm turning and shooting behind. Uh, can I do a flashback that I hope is like zero stress? The fact that like <laughs> you're a former ghost owl and we're all the ghost owls, that it's like there's a maneuver. Like like specifically you call out whatever that is where it's like like Dream literally like to like like an arrow like pierce through like that's what we're doing like cast the crawl can... now all right <laughs> boom uh, so literally shields up the two people in the front who are leading like pushing through to create a hole through them mm -hmm. um, can it be uh, can we be firing while doing <laughs> so uh, my suggestion would be probably do some sort of martial and or discipline. Uh, to get the NPC rookies to fire, or unless it's just you operating in this kind of group action role, then I would say a group action role. Otherwise, you're only relying on one person's role in this specific task. Group maneuver? I think we're all really good at maneuver. Or are you, are you trying to move around them? Push through them? Are you trying to fire at them? Push through, I think, is the plus. push slash fire. Yeah, so through. it's like fire and then thread the needle through the tiny okay. space. That you yeah. Okay, I'd say a maneuver would still. So with a maneuver, I think that would be. Um, let's see, there are four of you. Where is my scale thing? And Blackbud, you're in the front, right? Yes. Okay. I. Like, the more I say the name Black Flood, the more he becomes, like, a G.I. Joe. <laughs> not, not main toy, but, like, you know, he's just, like, I know it's anachronistic, but I'm picturing him with a ski cap. Like, <laughs> it's just... Oh, my God. So, uh, there are basically four or five of you taking action, essentially. Because mm -hmm. two people are essentially carrying uh, the... True. Boy and Special K, right? They don't really have the ability to push through and or fire. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you're basically considered a small group in the scenario, which is scale two. You are firing slash charging into a group that is basically scale three. So normally this would be a risky situation with a standard effect, but because their scale is higher, your effect is limited because you could very easily be swarmed in this scenario still. Can we trade positions? And you shooting backwards toward the burn is going to have pretty much a limited effect regardless of whatever the positioning is because you're shooting into a scale 3 group as a single person. Okay. So then there's no point in shooting backwards. Yeah, if anything, you'll knock out one burn, but they'll still be just as close as they were before, if not maybe a little bit closer because of the hesitation. Yeah, if it, would, if it would be pointless to shoot backwards, he wouldn't. He'd yeah. shoot forwards. Um... The scenario would remain the same for the hex, though. You're still scaled down on them. Can we... But you have potency from all your black shot. Uh, well, actually, they're not zombies, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Can we trade position for effect? You can. It'll make your uh, group action desperate and give you a standard effect. That gives me an extra dice. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. know that's... And also, if we're doing group action, the chances of getting sixes better but if we fail we fail hard <laughs> i mean we are gonna all die anyway so <laughs> this, don't succeed on this, this, let's face it in this scenario you'll be taking some sort of distributed like harm level three like so like maybe two pcs will take a level one harm each and then like a rookie will die and someone will have to protect if they want to save that rookie mm. that npc rookie Special K is still a specialist, even though she's an NPC, so she doesn't outright die from an attack. So the only NPC one would be your backup right now. Because we're all playing with our Yeah, enemies. all right, the dish. Sorry, <laughs> homie. Sorry. But that's only if we fail. Yeah, it's only if it's like a, a pretty, like it's a four or five or lower. And then someone can make a desperate plea to save them. Yeah, protect. Protect and resist is still an option. So. So what are you doing here? Group, group maneuver. Yeah, Let's do it. Right. Who's, who's so leading? Go Your point? And you have low stress, right? Uh, yes, I have only one stress. Alright, fuck it up. <laughs> and roll them! Ooh, I got a six! Six! Five. Three. So your highest is a six, and you'll take one stress uh, from her roll. Should I roll for... No. Okay, no. Because she's not here. 
Only we'll have you only roll for her or use her abilities in situations where because she's paralyzed. So she can't I'm talking about her. Uh, oh, uh, no, rising. she'll be NPC for now. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. All right, uh, so we got two fifths. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but a one six between the whole. Group. Since it was a maneuver and we were technically desperate, do we all get it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, groovy. Dude, I'm one you away. Yeah. I'm gonna get that level three maneuver. Success or not, still desperate to roll and get an XP. Oh, uh, yeah, I did not know. Oh, that was in your that was the bar. secret. Oh, the that was yeah, the yeah, secret yeah. thing I wanted as well from us to be like, oh, we can trade. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> for a higher effect, so, it has to go in a prowess. Yes, yeah, it has to go in a prowess die. The yeah. desperate roll always goes in its specific um, yeah. box. What, what about what goes yeah. in here? Your after mission experience. Oh, okay. So as you uh, shield up and have everyone kind of like fire over top of you, you clear out like a small subsection of a uh, hole of the hex. Um, and standard effect because of the traded position for sure. Uh, you push in, you push through. One just because of how many there are, one of you is gonna take a level one harm. Uh, is gonna be you'll take a level one harm unless you want to resist. Uh, what's the harm? Uh, the low one harm is just like a, a scratch or like a bite or something. Like one of the hex like come in and kind of like get you on your arm or like on your neck or something like that gotcha so should i just write scratch yeah scratch yeah but you can resist it if you want to um i'm not going to because okay. i um i sure was marked as a panyard so i've got plus do plus two d to resist corruption so I'll okay just, i'll just take it okay yeah uh and since they're human they don't give you corruption oh or great. since they're not zombies they don't give you cor corruption Ooh. um so you burst through them, and the burns kind of like smash into the hex, and a lot of them fry almost immediately. Like all those shelves, uh, husks kind of like singed and like crackle and fall off. Wow. Yeah. Um, and then out of nowhere, you're and this lightning bolt threads so through. Uh, who's in the back of the group? Probably who? One of the two people who are like carrying, or you? I'm probably in the back. Well, the dish is definitely carrying someone, too. Yeah. So if your NPC takes it, they're going to die. Yeah. Ooh. And if it's a... You technically have... You can take three uh, level two harms as a specialist. So if you can resist it down to a level two. Yeah, what is it that I'd be taking? Uh, this will be... Uh, if a specialist takes it, it'll be a, a level two harm. If uh, a rookie and a PC takes it, it'll be a level three harm. I forget how armor works in. I haven't taken any. Uh, so when you use an armor, you reduce the harm by one, one level. Can I do that? Yeah, absolutely. So you want to take the harm then? Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah. I mean, I did say before that I was towards the back. So. Sure. Yeah. So this fire is off. Level two is reduced to level one because you used your armor. And we'll just say um, electrical burn. Another electrical burn. <laughs> <laughs> Shocked, zapped. Uh, and you will also take two corruption. Wait, I can. Can I you use can, a reliquary to yes. take that down? Yeah. Okay. You can use a reliquary, and that'll be one corruption then. Okay. Is it? Does it make a difference if it's a fine reliquary? Mm -hmm. Okay. Reliquaries are just fine. Oh, it's just form. good looking. <laughs> yeah, just good looking. Oh, that's fine. So this uh, kind of black lightning bolt shoots out from the space, just to differentiate from like the blue white that's crackling around the burn. This one is very obviously different, Ooh. and you can see that um, as you kind of like look around and take the shot, you can see the burn it came from, and it looks so almost all the burn were just general humanoid forms, like people. They they were people at one time, but because they're skin has been charred away and a lot of their like muscle has been atrophied um they look fairly similar to each other this one seems to be sort of changing and getting like a little taller and lankier Ooh. you can see like some skin starting to reform some like pale colored gray skin hmm. but you're running you're still being chased by now some of the hex and the majority of the burned uh they're still fairly behind you and that's like a, fairly close that's or fairly a, far. That's a burn that's like mid morph right Yeah, now, right? yeah, yeah. Not um, next. I would like to uh, load up my last block, black shot mm -hmm. and uh, sh try to shoot that morphing burn. Okay, and you are you a specialist or a rookie? I'm a rookie. So you're shooting at a threat to target, so just so you know, <laughs> this reduces your effect on it. Gotcha. 
well, can we do that together? Because I, sure. I, I want to shoot at it too. You know. Yeah, you can you can group it. Yeah. Okay. Group it. You cool with that? Oh, I'm totally cool yeah. with it. You cool still leading? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Please help. Right. Um, much more I can take. I'm so stressed. Black shot. And um, SPG is like staggering. I was like, I'm with you. And pushing yourself, it adds either a die, mm-hmm. increased effect, or allows you to operate while incapacitated for two stress. For two stress. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, as it stands, as a rookie against this level two, your two tier enemy, mm-hmm. the effect would be limited or standard? Yeah, so uh, this would be risky standard, but because you're shooting at a higher threat enemy, it'd be limited. Um, and all, and I apply this because you're the one leading the mm-hmm. action. Um, yeah. But uh, Black Shot will increase it back to standard. So, gotcha. risky That's standard. We're both, I'm using Black Shot. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, well, then I'm going to push myself to have it for, for effect. For great not effect. Not for die. Sure thing. So, if you land, you will have a great effect on it. That's a group roll, right? Group roll. Yeah. Yep. Let's so do it! So you cocky guy. Four. Five. Five. So uh, it lets out another lightning blast as you both fire. And it strikes true and you watch the bird fall over almost immediately as it lets out this like wide which one of you wants to take the bolt. Um, if you take you. the bolt, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a level three harm. Level three yeah. harm. Yeah. But you can reduce I... with armor and shield if you have. Well, I've got armor, but I'm holding a musket, so I don't mm. think I'm using my <laughs> That's valid. Um, so, because I have armor, does it become... So you mark the armor, if you use it, mm-hmm. um, you mark the armor off. Okay. Which it looks like it's already... Did you use it in the so last session? So, my brain, at the beginning of missions, yeah. tells me that I should color in armor and shield so I know that I have it. Those are Does so... the game want the opposite of that? Yes, yeah, yeah. so you <laughs> empty until you use them. Okay. Well, I, did, so the I shield, did the exact same thing. So the, the first shield hasn't been armor. used. And you're using the armor now. And yes, I'm using the armor now. So that reduces it to a level two harm. Okay. You can use the shield to take it down to a level one harm as well. You can use both armor and shield in this instance. And um, then you can resist and negate it completely if you want to. I think I'll just take a level two harm. Okay. Um, and so should I write electrocuted? Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you feel like a big surge, and you also take um, three corruption. Gotcha. Do I resist that now? You can resist the corruption now if you want I'll to. to. So what's the normal amount of resistance? Like what's the normal roll that you make? To uh, you would use resolve in this case. Resolve. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I've got one consort, but I get plus two D. No, you, uh, your resolve is equal to all the dots you have in the left hand side of that bracket. So one, you only roll one dice. And then I get plus two D because I'm marked. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So three dice total. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, that's a three <laughs> and two ones. So you take three stress. Okay. And then do I like mark corruption somewhere? Uh, and then you will mark two corruption. Two. Are you trauma? Um, not yet. I still got three more stress boxes. The light gray ones you do oh not have. Gosh. So what's the difference between the light gray boxes and the black boxes? The black boxes are one that are on your sheet. The light gray ones are for improvements on your character. Okay, yeah. so Just now I'm... Trauma'd out. Trauma'd out? What yeah. does that mean? It means you are inoperable for the rest of the mission. Wait, so, so it would have been better for him to just move? do yeah. corruption. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, probably just take the corruption, forget the resistance rule. Yeah, give yourself back that stress. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Take the corruption, because we can deal with the corruption later. Okay, so that and yeah, because becoming inoperable in the mission, like so, where do I mark yeah. how much corruption I have? Wait, I'm right over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll take you two, three, three. Yeah, I'll take you three. Because <laughs> you, in this sense, you didn't resist the corruption. It only matters once you hit your first blight. You're mm. fine for essentially right now. So um, this black lightning shoots out, and you take the blow, and you feel you see like a portion of your. Um, I think it like, since you're shooting forward with a musket, I think it hits this arm, and you see like the skin start to char up, Ooh. like it's scabby and char. Uh, but you take out that burn, and it just falls to the floor. Uh, a scale didn't matter because you're 
targeting a single opponent. Um, and you watch as, like, in that instant, that black lightning, like, uh, kind of discharges and then shoots into another burn. And that same burn is starting to, like, morph and grow and grow, like, pale skin again. So... We just gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe we should just run. But we, you're we about are to, running. Yeah, you're about to approach running. the hut. Because you're follow because of your scrounge, you're following the exact same path you went through the woods. So you're about to reach the hut. The where hut. The dude's at. Oh, the, the guy. The dude's house. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. So when setting up, that's to set other people up for an action, and you take the action, and then yeah. So when you do the setup maneuver, you mm-hmm. do some sort of action. If you're successful, it increases their position. Okay. I. W- because we have to defend ourselves. So if we hear someone say, like, I want to do this action, I say to them, well, potentially it'll be standard effect, they'll be a desperate role, you'd be like, well, can I set them up doing X to give them a standard? That way mm. the harms aren't as intense. Okay. Can I do that? Is anyone interested in shooting? <laughs> or do you think we should do more maneuvering to avoid them? Well, we... Right here? Apparently being is... chased, and I... You're kind of matching pace, but there's no chance gotcha. for you to take a break. We're gonna start mm. talking about like who's getting tired yeah. and shit. So like, there's nine hex to nine burned right now. Uh, maybe less hex. Maybe like six, maybe five hex, because some of them you killed through the push, and then some mm-hmm. of them got burned and scattered gotcha. because the burns hit them. Gotcha. Mm. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know what's a better option than just trying to outpace them. Mm. So the the hex are like kind of shambling mm, humans yeah. though, right? They like they they're like they're like themselves. not well, fu- not fully they are they're still human operable, like they're still running at human speed. Okay. Yeah, they're not they're just they just follow kind commands. Of clumsy. Yeah. They're only clumsy when they're passive. Like they're just kind of like aimlessly no, walking around. But now they're active. Yeah, yeah, yeah. their goal has changed. Well like my thought was like because like our, we know this path. You know, having used my mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. know this path. Yeah, yeah. So when would we have like a little bit of an advantage on them, considering they're still kind of maneuvering in a pace that they're not as familiar with sure. as we are. I think that some if you could pull off some sort of action roll here, I think you could like okay. widen the gap this way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we would could that. set up a tripwire or something like, because doesn't somebody have rope? Climbing gear. I've got a climbing yeah, I've got gear. A climbing yeah. kit too. We could like try to get a little bit ahead, and two of us stay by a tree and create a trip wire or something. We could flash back to you guys uh, having set up a perimeter. I was gonna um, say because if you if someone stays, you're running a huge risk by trying to like yeah. just right. trip wire and not kill something because then they're gonna get up and you're right there. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I can't flash back. But you said you wanted to set up. <laughs> I can. I can flash back. So, I helped you with that. The sisters set up a perimeter. Yeah, a perimeter. Yeah, yeah. So, so, what's your flashback? So, a, is a perimeter... So, what is that? I mean... I know what the, perimeter means. You can just near the, the camp. Yeah, 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 we like, could have, like, set up around that camp, because originally, before he went missing, we were planning on staying there for the uh, night. Oh, right, right. There's, so, there's literally a scene, and I don't remember what season of Walking Dead, where they go around and they just set up a bunch of trip wire yeah, around yeah. the camp. Okay. Well, <laughs> like, we did it's that. It's an actual scene of so, Walking Dead. Yeah. So, <laughs> we were a little bit wary of the lumbering sure, sure. idiots. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And so, we so maybe like you doubled start. back, yeah. started setting something up. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll say because of the potential danger of the hex in the wildlife, I'll say one stress for that. One stress, yeah. yeah. Great. How many? How many were we able to set up? Oh, oh it's a perimeter. There's only one way into the camp now. We either really want to know it. So if they don't come in the exact way we're planning, I say for one stress, you can get like something like. 50 to 70 feet worth of like trip wire okay. between like the seven of you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this wasn't a single person job. This was like all the rookies could have been doing this while the specialists were looking out. Does anybody have a wrecking kit? A wrecking kit? No. Not time. 
Because if we did, we would have spikes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we don't have the spikes. Just window shopping. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> next time, next time. Wonderful. What's in my soldier's kit? Though? So, uh, you all kind of maneuver your way. So why don't we do that? Why don't we widen the gap and lead them to this tripwire with some sort of action roll? Okay. So is it maneuver? I would, yeah, because yeah, we got to jump over the tripwire. Yeah, we're down. lead them through it. I can, I've, I've got two maneuver. I got um, two. You want to lead us on I maneuver? I can lead you. I'll say this is... Uh, it's over this way. This is controlled. I don't think there's much risk for you because you know where the trip wire is. And you're currently in matching pace. Ooh, you know what, though? How is the person who's carrying Special K getting over the trip wire? Because you said they're in, like, a dragging... No, no, no. There's two people carrying it. Oh. Special K is being carried in, like... Because we have and six... If they we use our tents. We use our camping gear, our tents. So there's like two large wooden planks. Well, I'm trying to think if someone's carrying the boy and two people are carrying special K, that means there's three people. Oh, then there's still four. Okay, yeah. I was just like, the math wasn't working out in my head for some reason. Like these two people, hold on. <laughs> these two people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, okay. So, whoo, whoo. so control, standard effect. You'll probably widen the gap pretty considerably. Actually, we'll say great effect because you're going to widen it pretty considerably with the tripping and everything like that. Yes, I got three six. and a two. Got six, seven, oh, there you go. So at least a six popped. And who was leading? Me. She was. So you take one. I got a six. You only take one stress from. Uh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Boy, yeah. Better than her getting all three of us <laughs> and us <Ooh>. failing. <laughs> Worst case scenario, we we all fail and die. Right. Um, so you uh, you're brushing through the you're brushing and racing through the trees. You're winding and swaying in between every like thick like next to each other branch, uh, you get to the 70 foot of rope that's kind of like in this sort of hexagon slash zigzag type thing, and you all kind of leap over. All the hex have one thing on their mind. They all tumble over the trip wires. Um, a sum of the burned also like trip into and fall over the hex, but you hear like a, and like maybe some of the rope has snapped because of all the, um, yeah, because of all the bodies coming into it. Um, I'm not saying you didn't set up like a faulty trip wire or anything like that. I'm just saying like because of so much force yeah, impacting yeah. the rope, one of them was bound to give away. Um, the special burned has like toppled over. Like it seems to have some more intelligence than all the other creatures, um, and it like clambers over and like uh, uh, like beast crawls over all their bodies and like continues to chase all of you. Um, seeing is is it by itself now? Kind there of. One? There's like a loose three or four burn that like are, were able to step on the bodies and not be like uh, affected by the trip wire. So you've reduced the scale from like three to one, essentially. Gotcha. Um, we need to separate that from the other burn. It, it, it's going to keep going. We need to take that out, but far enough away from the others. And you can see, well, for those of you that maybe have adjusted to the dark at this point, barely. Because are you running with lanterns or anything like that? Are you just running pure darkness? I mean, I have lantern. If we want, is it on? I I used it to burn stuff earlier. I don't remember. You, I think you left it there, didn't you? Oh, probably snatched it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we ever like. We never said anything about like, like, like running in the dark. Hit me with a retcon. Is it or is it not on? It's not. It's not. Okay, so you're running full darkness. You're almost, but you know that you're almost at the hut. And who's leading? I'm not. I'm the leader, but I don't think I'm in the front. Yeah, who's in the front? Is um, I was earlier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're basically like booking it through and kind of listening to um, SPG's commands from the back about which way to go since he has the path memorized. Yeah. And you're racing through the forest. You approach the hut and you're this. And you something sharp is coming at you. You're going to take a level one harm. Uh, from the dude who you like can there. Can I make a maneuver roll to You can, avoid you certainly it? can, yeah. Okay. Six. Hell yeah. So you, just in the nick of time, like, you hear, like, this cutting wind sound, and you instinctually, like, duck down, and you just, and it smacks into his hut and kind of, like, breaks off the lean-to. 
So you hear like a bunch of wood clattering, and he like starts to come at you again. Is he, are you running so past him? I was thinking I've ducked. Yes. And so if I've ducked, yes. can I make a skirmish roll to draw my boot knife and just get his Achilles? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. This is going to be um, we're using him as risky and standard. Two ones. Two ones. So um, you go to pull the boot knife out, and there's like mud caked on it. It's slow to, it's not that you didn't draw it, it's that you're slow to the draw. Mm. And the axe comes swinging around, you're going to take a level one harm cut to your shoulder. It's not deep, it's not, it's not too bad of a wound. Um, he's not much of a threat, but he's swing, swinging wild in the darkness, so it's, it's hard to get a gauge for his movements. Word. Can uh, me and Obsidian knock him to the ground with special cape, like, like a, you know, carrying, yeah, yeah, carrying, yeah, yeah. carrying the ladder and just, you know, <laughs> yeah. like the ladder oh, is geez. special cape. What, what action do you think would matter here? Uh, maneuver. Sure. Let's, let's let it happen. It'll be, um... Risky, limited effect because you're only really like knocking him down. You're not hurting. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. that's the plan. Yeah. I want a living creature for them to attack. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'm definitely thinking like, oh, he's turned against us. Maybe we, enemy of our enemies, our friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Six. So you uh, both come swing around the lean to that you hear is like breaking. You hear like the snapping of twine and all this wood clattering to the dirt, um, <laughs> and like. <laughs> <laughs> He's awake! <laughs> <laughs> um, and you start, I assume you all kind of like breeze past him in some fashion. Could we yeah. tell if he was, uh, if he was in his right mind or is he now hexed? Too yeah. dark to tell. Too dark to tell. But you hear a bunch of like clambering. You can hear it. You can still smell like the sparking ozone in the air. You're, the burner is still following you. At least the ones who weren't affected by the tripwire. You're not sure how far back those that were affected are from you now. Mm. Are you still like hauling full speed? Does anyone have oil? Um, I have a cooking kit. Then maybe? you have lots of olive oil. Yeah, extra virgin <laughs> olive. Extra, yeah. extra. I have pour the evu, pour the evu. I uh, have camping gear, so I'm assuming I have flint mm -hmm. and can I, I flashback and have gathered like tinder, like fire starter? Sure, a second trap. Cool. I'll say that because this is a second trap, it's going to cost you two stress if you want what? to do it. Then no. The dish has oil. <laughs> you have oil? Yeah. Because we're, ta oil. we're talking about the amount of time in a dangerous environment right, before, right, right. like, how, how long would it have taken for the hex to kind of, like, start to press out and discover you, right? So these are things that maybe we should have done during free play to prepare for a mission, maybe? Yes and no. Uh, it's hard to tell what, like, right now this plan is being formulated because you're being chased. You didn't know that you were going to be chased. That's the purpose of the flashbacks. You right, I understand. Plan. It's because that you've already done a right, trap. Right. Now you're trying to do a second trap, and I'm like, well, that takes a little bit extra time. I wanted to light a fire. Like a line of fire. To My rookie them again. has oil. I have a flare gun. Oh, let's I'm try it. Fusion! <laughs> yeah. I am both. <laughs> it's like we could have been pouring the oil as we ran and then light it. Yeah, I mean, shooting a flare into oil. oil will <laughs> yeah. I'm, think, I'm thinking that the way this in my mind works is that you throw the bottle and fire the flare into the bottle because the that's uh, much cooler yeah <laughs> <laughs> correct <laughs> because um if you try it on the forest floor remember it's very damp here so um, any like you're not yeah. sure the fire will catch yeah. and yeah, you're not sure like i mean the oil burns in a river right right we know that yeah <laughs> <laughs> no clue where we are <laughs> yeah <laughs> we do not live in ohio <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I. That's all. I do it. Other than continuing to just keep shooting and running. Yeah. Do you have ammo for that? Or oh, it's just firing a flare gun. This yeah. is gonna operate okay. four flares. This so. is gonna operate very much like, like a like a grenade goes off in an air in the air, right? I don't think this is gonna cause like a forest fire. It's too wet in here for that to happen, and you yeah, know that. At this point, 
I'm down with a forest fire. Burn a thing uh, down. Shrapnel and fire things. <laughs> but I'm saying that there, there's a very high pot. If your attempt is to forest fire, I don't think it's going to happen. No, no. I mean, okay, okay. I'm saying if that's a side effect, we're it's not worried. So big. Yeah. Just general them? chaos crew <laughs> yeah. right now. That's what can we see them right now? Can we look back? You can see, because of the sparks they're letting off in the light, you can see like the burn like flashes. <laughs> I uh, don't well, like yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. shapes in the dark. Yeah. Right? yeah. Um, you see these random silhouettes moving like every five or so feet. It's the electric forest. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's do your thing. Yeah. Uh, you hear another lightning bolt go off. <laughs> oh, good. But it doesn't. It seems a little bit wider this time. Yeah, we got some distance. I don't know where we're at. Can we I had see? Great effect on that. <laughs> I want to try to take a shot with my musket. On the effed up dude. Intent is on um, the effed up dude. The lightning guy. The the changing one. Yeah. Yes. Do you? So what's the intent? To maim or kill? <laughs> okay. <laughs> maim um, or kill. Because of the distance you've increased, uh, I'm gonna say this position is desperate because it's hard for you to see. Mm. So any backlash is gonna be pretty severe on you. Just so you know, but the effect will be standard if you hit. Plus you still got black out, right? Wait, did I need to roll for the Wombo combo? Yes, uh, you will need to oh, roll for yeah. the Wombo combo. Yeah. 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 Because you said it's a setup. Fancy yeah. feet! Fancy yeah, feet! Okay. <laughs> that ain't Falco! Because then we'll see for a split second. Yeah. That's what I was about. Like, I can I just like load my musket so that when he lights up the night. Mm-hmm. I'm Ooh, looking that's for a good call too. Yeah, I'm looking so, for Mr. So, so you want to call this then like a setup maneuver by you to increase the position on their shots? Sure. Because that'll give them desperate to risky, so that if there's any four, fives, or lower roll, the harms aren't as intense. What determines the harms of what the enemy can do to you is the position. What does a setup cost me? You just have to roll and. The same thing could apply you. So if you're set up, it depends on what your action and what you're using to make this happen. I feel like it's maneuver because mm-hmm. it's if it's setting them up, mm-hmm. it's more about positioning of it sure. than it is about like the accuracy of shooting it. You know, mm-hmm. I'll agree with that. I can take that. I'll call it. Um... Standard effect, maybe it'll cause some sort of distraction, maybe like glass shrapnel will like fall into the burn and that'll affect them somehow. Um, say, uh, same thing though, desperate because if the bottle, like the bottle's in the darkness, right? You're like using all of your focus, panyar, scout senses to like make this flare gun hit. Worst, yeah. worst case the, scenario, SPG, the you're just... Dis- you're distracted enough that I think I think what'll happen negatively here is that you'll fire off and the you'll miss the bottle. If uh, this is the negative, miss the bottle and maybe like be uh, maybe like a tree comes up and you're like sort of like veering in a direction that cuts off from the group, like you're singling yourself out, like a complication more than a harm. Okay. Because I don't think you're really being targeted specifically by the lightning bolts. All right. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey. So, and you wait. Then oh. you just hear this big glass pop. And you see all this, like, yeah. And then, so if you want to fo- follow your fire, yeah. uh, yeah. Sure. are you oh, group action shoot? Is that what's happening? Y- yes. Okay. What's your stress like? Um, I'm two away from being an obstacle. Same. You only take one whoever leaves, regardless. Okay, I'll leave it. Okay. <laughs> I'll do the next one. So this is now risky because the position's been increased and still and you're aiming specifically for the fucked up one. Yeah. Yep. Um so standard effect, you'll take it out. Can I assist while Yeah, sure. Cool. I'm just assuming I assist him. So then you have to spend a stress. Oh. Uh, I can spend one stress. Yeah, you spend I one can't stress. spend two, but I'll spend one. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Is that what happens? Yeah, you get an extra die for the assist. Because I don't want you to get stressed on something. Do it! <laughs> That's another one. Five? It's five. So but your fail doesn't count on you because you're leading. Oh, awesome. That's exactly why I did that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <gasps> um, so you... Wonder not twin powers. Wait, are they twins? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, wonder twin powers. Wonder twin powers. Yeah. Um, so you both shoot uh, shots off into... Flash shot? I used that. 
Okay. I, I'm out of black shot. Yeah, yeah. So if potency is increased, you'll definitely kill it because it hits. Um, so it starts to, like, stumble and beat. Like, you see it, like, grab a tree trunk and, like, pull itself at, like, an alarming speed. And as soon as it hits the air, this flare goes off, and you both, and you see, and it gets hit from the ricochet and falls and stumbles into the grass. And you watch that black lightning discharge and then jump to another burned. Um, but that one is dead. Cool. It buys us time. It has to transform. It takes a minute. It takes a second. <laughs> As you describe this, all I can think of is the creatures from Attack the Block. Ooh, that. dude! <laughs> dude! I gotta see Attack the Block. Oh my god. Oh, it's so good. Um, so but original. for the five, uh, I think five. what I said would happen to you in that focus, you now, like, you turn around and you don't see anyone. I don't uh, see anyone. You don't see, you don't hear, like, the rustling from their runs are further away from you. Shit. Mosquito. Um, Dish, take this. I'll go back for my sister. <laughs> so now you're separating your, basically you're, like, decreasing the scale of your group by separating, uh, essentially. Scout, I gotta find her and bring her back. Unless you were gonna scround her. What are you gonna I do? was gonna say, you know what? As you, like, call out, as you're, like, where is... I'm, I'm young, I'm terrified. <laughs> yeah, but as you're, as you're saying that you can't see Akita, I think SPG is like, stay with the group, I've got her, and breaks off, and I'm going to use Scrounge to find her. Sure, I, I'll allow it. I think it puts you, like, you're trying to find safe passage, too. As you, um, you start to veer off, and you, you were, because you shot the flare... Wait, you're in the back, right? I think as you shot the flare, you turn around and start running, and they, like, it's that cool, like, they're framing your escape type thing, and poof, and you saw the direction she was in, so you yeah. know where to go. Yeah, and, and grab her and bring her right back. Yeah, yeah, so you run over, you see her. <laughs> Could use a scrum. Um, Could use yeah. a scrum. And then you bring her back over towards the group. I don't know Not that, that way. This way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I grab my sister's hand, too, and I'm just like, Really like Aww. I'm like one stress away from trauma, <laughs> so I'm just like like white and you might be like ow, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like yeah level one harm uh, wrist. Yeah. You're hurting me. Sorry. So there's only about three of them chasing you. One of them is starting to turn. You can see like again that crackling gives you like that five five foot shudder of them ever like on your tail, um, and it's it's starting to morph. You can now see like hair start to come out of one of the burn, like this long black straight hair. Oh shit. Um, what would it oh. what would it take for us to shoot and kill all three of them? Um I would say with your scale you could do like an entire group shoot to try and take out the rest of them. Can I um because we're just all running mm-hmm. and so can we see something pass between the burned as one dies and another transforms or is it just a burned dies and another one becomes more you see like this black light? lightning discharge from the one you kill and then like shoot towards another burn gotcha um and is that like instantaneous mm-hmm. pretty much Damn. the speed of lightning the speed of lightning and there's three left mm-hmm. um but they're potentially saying that in this single like group shoot maneuver, you want to take out the last three that are immediately chasing you. Oh, sorry. Yeah, if we set as uh, can we get um everyone if we set the people we're carrying down for a second and just like turn on our heels, that'll make it desperate. But yeah, yeah. I mean, just to increase the amount of people fighting. I mean, the, so the effect will be like great. You'll take them all out, but the the role is desperate. If anything happens, it's gonna happen real bad. Because you're stopping, you're stopping, you're turning, you're firing, and they are sprinting in your direction. Mm. So if anything goes wrong, they are on top of you. Defensive line. I'll take the front. I'll take the front, and I'll be the first. Yeah. I I have no injuries. I'm ready to go. Yeah, I mean, I think we got to get rid of them, you know? Cool. Yeah! So that's SPG. It gets you back to the group, (laughs) and it's like... They're never gonna stop. We've gotta make a stand. How far away are we from the edge of the forest? Do we know? Oh, you're like probably we're another. Super yeah, you're like <laughs> another <laughs> hour, hour and a half. half problem. Problem. Like you're still sprinting at this point. We can't, you're no, still we like can't an run hour. for an hour. Yeah, yeah, you're like an hour and a half, two hours out. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I think. 
uh, SPG, can I hand off black shot to someone? I've got extra black shot. I mean, uh, I have extra black shot. Whoever too. like has it will use it. You okay, know what I mean? Okay. Like, mm-hmm. like you're fine. you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Don't really have time. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Yeah, and there's also like take my bullets. <laughs> And then you draw. In them. the dark. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh shit. And there are muskets. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Musket. <laughs> Clean, oh, it. Oh, Clean it real quick. <laughs> yeah. I can catch Black Shot and reload a musket in 8.5 minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 8.5 minutes. <laughs> He's an animal. So, what are y'all doing? We're doing it. What, what, are, what, what is the action? action? Shoot. Shoot. Okay. I'm bad at shooting, but let's do it. Desperate. Okay, you have one. Great. Black shot, whoever hits. Uh, do we, can we roll first? No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Okay. Double duty rolls. Right. So who's leading? Am yeah, I, who's leading? Should I lead? I can lead. I have two more stress left. I have two stress left. I mean, I might... One of you is gonna. Whoever leads runs the risk of trauming out here, basically. Doesn't matter who. I'm a high-risk trauma, by the way, because I have to roll a disadvantage. Well, nope. Yeah, I do. I have to roll this. So There's a high I'm risk. feeling two things. One is I'm feeling it's my responsibility as the specialist to take this on. The other is I know that we're already in a bad situation. Word. We're missing a specialist. And mm-hmm. I can leave it. I got two stress left. But if you speaking mechanically mm-hmm. if you're if you already roll a disadvantage because you're stressed you should just take the stress i only have one stress left i know but you're saying do you roll a disadvantage is that what you're saying yeah right now right now so it should be because you're gonna already potentially roll like low for someone else is what i'm saying so take the chance that somebody else will even if i roll one i'll yeah. trauma out but yeah. hey yeah everybody yeah. else all right Sure. <laughs> I'm just I'm just speaking. Wait, like, wait what's happening? <laughs> Am I what did you say? Is it for you just to not shoot if it's going to maybe kill you? Everyone has to shoot if this is going to work. Yeah. Oh, but if I'm the one leading the thing, I'll just take the stress and guns. I'll fail. But then your scale will be equal. Because there's four oh, to three, okay. your yeah. scale goes up by one. Okay. And technically, we have the other two, so it's yeah, yeah, six. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot. I'll shoot. I'll lead it. Is that cool? Or do you want to lead it? It's up to you. You can yeah. if you want to, but I I am definitely I I have to roll two and take the lower. Mm-hmm. So if That's I lead it, I won't I won't yeah. shoot myself in the foot if I roll. Whoever's back. leading is guaran- is That's almost true. pretty much guaranteed to take one stress at least. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Yeah. All I need is one to get a trauma. And you know what? I'll trauma out, but I'm sure we can get out of this if we, if we succeed. And traumaing out, what does that mean? Does that mean inoperable move. for the rest of the mission? Okay. Yeah. They push You're them. like in shock, and <laughs> people just need to three yeah. More than three yeah. people. Yeah. Already. Okay. Let's do it. Who's leading? Oh. <laughs> you said who's leading? <laughs> okay, sorry. Ty, Man, are we doing it? I didn't catch that. I can't if... carry my sister and the kid though. I gotta kidding. fucking lead. Okay, I've lead. got to do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Yeah, I know this it. is gonna put SPG out, but just for I've just for the fuck, just for the sense. You like go to step forward, and I'm like over my shoulder. Fire! <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, okay. A five. Okay, a five is the highest. Zero. No, I rolled a three. I rolled a three. Okay. I rolled a two. Oh, so you take three stress. Yep. But. Because you had a five, still you shoot off, and you see that like you're you're at this point you've seen it enough times that you're predicting those like shock patterns, and the next flash you just unload bullets and arrows into them and they all clamber over and um, let's see, I think that. You're already gonna trauma out, so you yeah. getting a harm is not an issue. Um, I think you're gonna take. No, you try to come up to the front, mm-hmm. and he pushed you back, mm-hmm. so you're in that same area. He like, you shoot, he traumas, and he like, just kind of like gives up and falls. And just as he falls, this black lightning shoots over his head and comes directly into you. You're gonna take a level three harm. Uh, I'm gonna use my armor to reduce it to level two. Okay. And yeah, that's gonna be an electrocute. 
Yeah. You feel this, and um, you're a rookie, so that's difference of one. The it was desperate, so you're gonna take. Oh, that was desperate, so we all got. Yeah, you all got uh, experience for that bonds as well. That's full. Uh, I'm gonna get that <laughs> action dot if I don't die. Uh, you're gonna take uh, five corruption. And I can't resist because stress, and I was stressed out. Yep. Uh, I'll take the five corruption. Can I protect? Well, you you could potentially still resist, but if you roll a five or lower, you'll mm. feel trauma. Uh, I have a two in resolve. I'll take the five. You were so sure that you took out all of the... You were so surprised by that lightning. You feel like this sickness enter your entire body. And you like not only have the muscle uh, muscle twinges of being electrocuted, but you also feel like sick to your stomach, and your mind gets cloudy, and you hear you hear this laughter, like this cackling noise, mm. and then you almost pass out from it. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried to take care of that. It's okay. So SPG falls, but. For this immediate second, you seem safe, but you don't know how far back those other burned in Hexed are. You only tripped them. You didn't kill them. Oh, God. Well, I'm going to... Uh... But potentially their leader is gone as well. So when when a rank-and-file uh, enemy does not have its leader around, it goes pretty feral or passive, so the Hex probably return to their, like, meandering at this point, but the burned are still out there roving around like wild animals. Um... I mm-hmm. catch Silver Crown and Gale and I throw them over my shoulder mm-hmm. and we just keep quiet now because we're not directly keep being moving. followed. Say again. Keep moving but slower, quieter. We can't keep running or else we're going to get exhausted. Um, Maybe. Maybe. Like scouting now. For mm-hmm. Trying to find a way out. So I look at Special K. No, she's paralyzed. Yeah, she's not paralyzed. She's, paralyzed she's not paralyzed anymore. She's not paralyzed anymore. So she's up? Yeah. You see her like start. She's like laying in the hammock, and then mm. she starts to like. You see that that finger she was holding when she was yelling, like start to soften and fall, and then you see her like kind of come to. Oh god. Um, I say to a special K, things are quieter now. Silver Prowl and Gale can't get up. What do we do? You keep pressing on. Don't you know? Don't you know? I don't think Special K is Canadian. Yeah, I know the Marshall's Canadian. Was, like, was <laughs> it she British. the one? Oh, yeah, the Marshall. Which was the one that had that voice? Marshall. Yeah, oh, Mar- yeah. Okay. yeah no, you're gonna. <laughs> so, Max, your size. So, our, our best ability in terms of finding our way back is Scout at this point? Yeah, yeah. And especially because you're, like, you don't have the path to follow anymore either. Mm-hmm. Can I light a lantern? Is that ill advised? Uh, yeah, to draw attention to yourself. Uh, <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Yeah, uh, I think one person just scout scout the way and lead us. I don't think we need to do a group action because we can't. Should I light anything? You think it's a risk? You think they'll see it? Will yeah. they see? They probably see like the rest of us. I think lighting something is disadvantageous. Okay. And just to be clear, we're all walking while we're at yes, this yes, 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 like, yes. I wouldn't. I would not stand. <laughs> yeah. Dish you over the way. Uh, I can definitely uh take a look. You know, I got a keen eye. I can uh see the path. All right. I'll show you the way. I can show you the way. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a, a scout roll, right? If that's what you want to use, I think that'll yeah. be. We can do this group action if you're leading, because I think you have no stress, right? Yeah. It's chill as hell. Okay, because yeah. we all have two. Yeah. Every so yeah. We want to increase our chances. Let's I was saying it, no to the group think? because I didn't realize he is like fine. Yeah, the dish is like, oh yeah. Let me take it yeah, off. Let me wake up for my nap. <laughs> yeah. I've been carrying this fool for Here, a while. Special you carry the... Yeah. Yeah. Do it. That's a six. Six and a five. Five. Her, her, no stress. No stress. Ooh. Yeah. 
It's like I said, I know the path. <laughs> <laughs> so probably carry on for about 10 minutes or so. You kind of like double in tandem with Special K and like lead from the front. Um, this like, the air gets noticeably colder. There's like this slight mist. You, you got six, right? Yep. Okay, cool. So there's like this very slight mist that starts to suddenly appear. And you hear like a a laughter, like a low laughter coming from Lady! The lady's here! Welcome, hey! welcome, welcome. Wee, 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 There's wee, the wee, laughter. Wee, wee, wee. There's a low laughter and it's cold, but we've lost the people who are chasing us. Uh, Silver Prowling Gale passed out. Rip. <laughs> but, you're, but you're not he paralyzed. You passed, passed out. You're not paralyzed. We put him back on the same yeah, structure and, we were and, carrying you. And you woke up. Oh, yeah. Sick. Where should I start? Right there. Well, eh. He's amazing. Hi, it's Delaney Hagee, your local <laughs> redhead and um, very late person. And you're, oh, we're in right. Covered that inch. Yeah, we already got it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just to catch you up real quick, um, you are in the middle of the wood, probably two hours from the entrance of the forest line where you came in. Um, you've lost the main shadow witch and burned and there's a loose amount of burned and hex roaming through the forest. Uh, you've been successful at a scout rule just recently, so you're kind of sneaking along. You have charge because you're the only specialist up right now. Are we carrying you or where yeah, are you? He's on Black Blood's yeah. shoulder. Yeah, so everyone's how, still here. How did I get unparalyzed? They must have killed the one that paralyzed you. It was a witch? It, it was the witch, still the witch, and then you were still paralyzed. Everything there seems to be some kind of energy that... Yeah, yeah the, witch, the witch kept mm-hmm. jumping from body to body. She kept using zombies as witch eggs. Yeah. Oh, well, shit! That's why there was some that just shoot at us. Oh, she it was legion. Sure. They were lesser vessels. Yeah. yeah. She was legion. Um, <laughs> powerful. So you were unparalyzed. Oh, that's why it's called the shadow witch, I think. Okay. Uh, and just as you, as they succeed on their scout roll, there's, um... The air gets very noticeable because I filled up my arrival clock, and the air gets super <laughs> cold. Um, this light mist starts to like it's almost visible. It's like giving off this like luminescence almost a little bit. So there's like there's these slight shadows being cast on everything. And as you start to press on through the forest, you hear this like light cackling noise, almost oh like God. a combination of a cackle and a gurgle that's coming out. Oh my god. And it's almost echoing, like bouncing off the trees. At one point, it like, sounds like it's coming from above you. I need everyone to make a resolve resistance roll. Oh my god. If they don't want to take corruption currently. Yep. Ah! Can you corruption out in the mission? No, you, if you take flight, you do not flight out. Luckily, okay. I have three resolve. I think. Let me double check. And I rolled a six. Woo, that's great. I rolled a six I as well. I also got a six. Oh. I got a two. Do you roll two die always? You uh, roll three. Kind of, yeah, you you're really it's good. whatever's on the you? side of the line for this box. Oh. Yeah. Let me check the light real quick. Four. Yikes. Should have better. I have not been rolling well. So how did we got through the zombie horde by pushing through? Yes. Kind you of? basically we smashed, through. smashed through the first yeah. thing and then we uh, went back and we had set up a perimeter around the camp. So the camp oh, we got flashback. Like, we flash yeah, to like having set up. Had a, some traps set up. Okay. So they tripped over our like perimeter around that place. Then we got attacked by an axe with the dude. Attacked Black Blood. Mm-hmm. And then we just <laughs> carrying you, me, and your other character of City, and used you like you know a ladder and kind of just like bashed into him to knock him on the ground and let them have out his body. <laughs> and we kept okay. running. <laughs> So we're, we're just trying to get out of the forest. Yes, so at this point, okay. but now we've gone from actively running to slowed down. Because the Sneaky. arrival clock okay. has popped. So you hear this cackling, gurgling noise, and you, you all feel like this immediate sense of dizziness hit you. Uh-oh. Um, so remember, if, you're, if you are doing a resistance roll, you're only going to take one corruption here. Blighting out doesn't like blight you out from the mission, but a blight is pretty severe when it comes to the Legion because mm-hmm. you're now being taken over by the cinder blood or whatever effects they're having on you. Just remember that a resistance roll gives you stress six minus whatever you roll. So it's your choice to roll and not stress out. Oh. Yeah. 
I rolled a six and I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, so yeah, 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 I get rid of a stress though, right? Yeah. Rolling a six. No, double sixes <sighs> gets rid of a stress. Oh, I six is no stress. I got a six. Yeah, no, no stress. stress. No stress. I got a two. So you would take four stress in this instance. You can just take the corruption if you want to. So it's oh one point God. of corruption? Yeah, just one point of corruption. I'm just saying that because I wasn't particularly clear of, like, this isn't like D&D where I say, make a perception check, everyone. This is like, this is your choice to make a resistance roll. This okay. might be the resistance uh, yeah. You have a yeah. lot of corruption, Black Blood. Uh, I have five. <laughs> and I got that from one shot. Wait, from just a oh my gosh. Yeah, I got corruption. Corruption <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah. You would take two stress yeah, in here. Yeah. I would just take the corruption. Did we go on like one? Three. Yeah, otherwise I'm trauma. Should I also roll for my. Um, those of you who are incapacitated automatically take the one corruption. So SPG gets one? Yeah, SPG will take one corruption. Should I, should I roll for my rookie as well or no? No, your rookie will just take the one corruption. Can I roll for my rookie? You cannot. Okay. It is what it is. Yeah. That's <laughs> true. It's the name of the game. Mm hmm. So oh, you hear this like cackle gurgle noise start to like echo throughout the space. It's coming from weird directions and it sounds like many and then it sounds like one and then it sounds like many again. And you just keep pressing on. You all get this sudden wave of sickness that hits you. You're looking around this like light luminescent mist and you see this hulking shadow moving through the forest not more than maybe like 15 feet from you. You see these long, dangly, skinny arms with like hands that are unbelievable, outstretched to maybe the size of your torso. Hunched over, and it stops and looks around. It just slightly turns and then keeps going. And you all start to move forward, and then you see it again. Just moving that same like 15 foot distance to your almost how it gets the other side of you. And you see one of the hands like reach up against the tree and this bark rip from it. And that's where we we're gonna take a break. <gasps> oh man, Ooh. I just got here. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Uh, so we just need to roll another really good scout roll and you're our man. <laughs> yeah, what's up? What's up? He was no stress, man. I was like, dish is no stress. The dish is clean. We'll be back in a few moments. No Real stress, true. dish.